Most people waste days or even weeks trying to build a website only to end up with something that's slow, clunky, and half functional. So in this video, I'll show you the top drag and drop website builders that actually work, whether you're launching a business, portfolio, or a store. And I'll also reveal the one platform that many people recommend, but it actually has a big downside that people rarely talk about. So first, which I think is the best overall, is Wix. So this is the builder that I recommend more than any other, and frankly, it's not even close. If you want total creative freedom without the coding headaches, Wix gives you more control than almost any other builder out there. You can drag, drop, resize, tweak, basically design your site exactly how it looks in your head. And the best part, you don't need to be a designer to make it look professional. Wix comes with over 900 designer-made templates a full drag and drop editor that lets you place anything exactly where you want, and even an AI powered builder if you wanna launch fast without thinking too much. You also get built in SEO tools, a solid blog engine, e-commerce options, and a huge app market to customize everything. What really separates Wix is that it doesn't lock you into rigid layouts. Most builders, they give you some flexibility, but Wix gives you all of it. So whether you're building a personal brand, a local business site, or a full-blown online store, you can scale it up easily with Wix, and it's good enough to help you adjust every step of the way, and it even allows you for custom coding if you wanna get really creative. That said, Wix isn't perfect, none of them are. The freedom it gives you can feel overwhelming at first, and one big limitation is that you also cannot switch templates once you start building. So if you're the type who likes to kinda you know, change your mind halfway through something, that could be a little frustrating. But if you want control, speed, and clean results without having to touch a line of code, Wix is the one to beat. And before I move on to the second builder, I do wanna mention one quick thing. So you can click right up here or check out the link in the description below to get free access to a chart where I compared all these different website builders across 15 different features to make sure that you make the right choice. Now, if you're the kind of person who wants you know, even more design power than Wix, and you don't mind a little bit of a learning curve, this next builder that I'm gonna talk about here might be exactly what you're looking for. So next is Webflow. And I'd say this is best for designers who want full control. So if Wix gives you freedom, Webflow takes it a step further into full creative control territory. But with great power comes a bit of a learning curve, right? Webflow is what a lot of professional designers and agencies use when they want to build custom high-end websites without writing raw code. Now, it's still drag and drop, but instead of just moving blocks around, you're you know, adjusting margins, flex boxes, grids. It's kind of like Photoshop meets HTML. And that's what makes it powerful. You can build super modern, responsive websites that look and feel like something a developer spent weeks coding. It even generates clean HTML and CSS behind the scenes, which is great for performance and for SEO. And you also get a CMS built in, which means that you can create templates for things like you know, blog posts, product pages, or team bios, and just plug in the content later. That's a huge time saver if you're building sites that grow or change often. But here's the honest truth. If you've never touched a website builder before, Webflow will probably feel pretty intimidating. There's definitely a learning curve, and it's not the kind of tool that you just pick up and master in an hour. That said, if you want pixel-perfect design and you're willing to invest a little bit more time learning, it does pay off in a big way. Coming up next, if Webflow feels too complex and Wix feels too open-ended, this next builder is all about simplicity, speed, and more importantly, value. And the builder I'm talking about here is Hostinger, which is best for simplicity on a budget. So if you just want a clean, functional website up and running today with zero tech headaches, Hostinger's website builder is hard to beat for the price. It's made for people who want something simple and fast. The editor is drag and drop, but stripped down in a good way. You won't get overwhelmed with options, and you really won't spend hours figuring out how to tweak every little detail. Just you know, pick a layout, customize your content, and you're basically ready to go. What makes Hostinger really stand out though is the value. You get hosting, email, SSL, and the site builder bundled into one low cost plan. For solar entrepreneurs, freelancers, or small local businesses, that's huge, especially if you're just starting out and don't wanna spend a ton. 
On the downside, you trade flexibility for speed. You won't get the same design freedom as Wix or the customization depth of Webflow, and the template library is much smaller. But if you're looking for a budget-friendly way to get a site online that still looks modern and runs fast, Hostinger's Builder gets that job done with minimal fuss. And next up, we're going to look at a website builder that brings visual editing into the world's most powerful website platform out there, but there's a catch to it. So next, we're talking about WordPress plus Divi. That's best for customization and long-term flexibility. So if you want drag and drop simplicity, but still like the idea of owning your site and scaling it over time, WordPress with the Divi website builder gives you the best of both worlds. WordPress is already the most powerful website platform out there. It actually runs over 40% of the web. And when you pair it with Divi from Elegant Themes, you get a visual builder that turns WordPress into a true drag and drop experience. With Divi, you can customize almost every part of your site visually, like headers, footers, product pages, and landing pages, all without touching a line of code. It comes with hundreds of pre-made templates, A-B testing tools, animations, and a really strong community for support. And here's the kicker. Unlike most platforms that, you, you know, that, that charge you monthly, right? Divi offers a one-time pricing option that gives you lifetime access, which is awesome. And that's a huge deal if you're planning to run multiple sites or want something that won't keep draining your wallet month after month. Now, WordPress, it does require a bit more setup and upkeep compared to all these all-in-one builders like Wix and Hostinger. You'll need to handle hosting, plugins, and updates. But the trade-off is complete ownership and nearly unlimited control. That said, in the beginning of this video, I said that I'd reveal one platform that many people recommend, but it actually has a big downside. That's WordPress. So everyone says WordPress is free to use, but guess what, it's not. You need hosting, plugins, themes, and more. So keep that in mind if you choose it because you do get nickel and dime to death if you choose to work with WordPress. Now coming up next, if all you care about is selling products online and doing well, this last builder was made for exactly that. And that is of course Shopify, which is by far best for e-commerce, but only e-commerce. So if your main goal is to sell products online, whether it's one item or a full catalog, Shopify is hands down the best drag and drop builder built specifically for e-commerce. Everything about Shopify is designed around selling. You get an easy to use theme editor, built-in inventory tracking, payment processing, shipping integrations, uh, abandoned cart recovery, and powerful analytics right out of the box. It's basically plug and play for launching an online store. It also scales really well. So whether you're selling from your garage or running a high volume store, Shopify has the tools and infrastructure to really grow with you. And the massive app store means that you can add features like subscriptions, upsells, customer reviews, whatever your store needs really easily. But here's the thing, if you're not selling anything, Shopify isn't worth it for you. It's not built for blogs, portfolios, service-based businesses. And it's also not cheap, especially once you start adding apps. So if e-commerce is your only focus, Shopify makes life incredibly easy. But if you're looking to build a general purpose site with just a product or two on the side, one of the other builders will likely give you more flexibility and will definitely save you some money. Now, before we wrap up, there's one more thing to talk about, and that's how to actually choose the right builder for your situation. So let's go ahead and take a minute here to break that down. So if you're trying to find your ideal website builder, it really comes down to five things. First, ease of use. Do you want something that you can figure out in an afternoon, or are you okay with a bit of a learning curve to get more control? Wix and Hostinger are very beginner friendly. Webflow and WordPress with Divi, they take more time, but they offer more power. Second is design flexibility. So if you want full creative freedom, go with Wix, Webflow, or Divi. If you just want something simple and clean, Hostinger really keeps it straightforward, but limits customization. Third is performance. So you want your site to load fast and work well on mobile. Now to be honest, all these builders can do that if you don't overload them, but Wix and Webflow tend to be the fastest out of the box. And fourth is value, this is the big one. So Hostinger is super affordable. Divi has a great lifetime deal, and Wix gives you a lot but can get pricey at higher levels. Webflow is a little bit more premium, and Shopify is powerful but not cheap. 
So make sure you're paying for features that you'll actually use. And finally, extra features from there. Need e-commerce? Go with Shopify or Wix. Running a blog or really content heavy site? Well, WordPress with Divi is built for that. Want CMS style control without coding? Webflow is your move there. At the end of the day, the best builder is the one that fits your goals, your budget, and your workflow. Not the one with the most bells and whistles. And one last reminder, you can click right up here to get free access to a chart where I compared all these different website builders across 15 different features to make sure that you make the right choice. And lastly, if you want help making the decision, just drop a comment below with what you're trying to build, and I am more than happy to point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching.